Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start yet. Y'all are this ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. I gotta take a deep breath on this one. <laughs> I gotta take a deep breath on this one, man. Listen. And I've been speaking on stuff like this for a while now, and I'm, I'm going to tell y'all like this. These types of things happen more often than a lot of y'all think. Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on as far as now it being kind of like, not really popular, but glamorized, I should say. Um, but you have this video with Nia Long, and I'm sure y'all already seen the, the, the title, so it is what it is. Um, we have this video with Nia Long basically talking about her dating older men when she was in high school and other women laughing about it like it was like it's like it's funny. I'm not too sure what's going on, but let, let's let's get into this. To prom. Like my boyfriend was 30 when I when I was in high school. I know my mother was crazy, but you know what? He was I would never ever let my I mean that in a good way. Like she was an artist. She was like, well, if that's who you love, baby. And he was so good to me and kind and like, you <laughs> right? And he, listen, he did it, he did it the right way. He went to her, he was from Oman. He went to her. First of all, first of all, I have so many questions. <laughs> I have so I have so many questions. Yeah. I, I mean, damn, you're saying the reason why your mom allowed you to date a 30 year old man when you were 16, 17 years old is because your mother was an artist and she had a different view of things. I'm I'm not too sure. Um I'm I'm just bro, there, there's a lot going through my head right now. Listen. And this has to be said, in the, and I'm not just saying this, this only happens in the black community, but this needs to be a topic of discussion in the black community because I've seen stuff like this happen uh, more often than um, than I should have. Me being in high school, I was a freshman, sophomore in high school. Girls was dating guys that was 25, 30, 35 years old. And they made it seem like it was, oh, yeah, it's just another day. And growing up in the hood, a damn sure pretty much was another day because it was always the same thing. A lot of the girls that was my age back when I was 14, 15, 16 years old was already dating guys that was double their damn age. And I'm sitting there thinking it's damn natural. It wasn't until I got older. I'm like, nah, bro, y'all was with, you know, P-E-B-O's. I can't say what I want to say because of damn YouTube, but yeah. And again, this is the type of conversations we need to have in the black community. And I feel for um, Nia Long, it's unfortunate that her mother was so, uh, you know, so cool about her being able to go on a date with a grown ass man. Hey, listen, I have nothing against Nia Long. I'm putting her mother at full blame. I don't give a damn if she's an artist or not. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. Her, as a parent, she should have been like, Nah, man, this this not happening. You need to, there's a bunch of guys that's your age in your high school, you're going to take one of them or one of them going to take you or whatever the case may be. I can't think of a reason that'll make me justify why a 16-year-old girl should be on a date with a 30-year-old man. I can't think of anything. I don't give a damn. Well, he was from Oman. I don't give a damn where he's from. Here, that's not, that's not flying. And as a parent... Her mother should have intervened and got in between them. Like, nah, bro, that's that's not happening. You're a grown ass man coming to me asking me. I don't care what the hell's going on. Who's from Oman? Oh, well, he approached my mother and he did this. I don't care. He approached your mom. Your mom should have then called the police, bro. It's a grown ass man over here trying to date my damn little ass daughter. That's what should have happened. Her and he said, "I love your daughter, and I want." to date your daughter and he asked permission look at your face you're like that ain't <laughs> happening with my baby <laughs> and and but you know what he taught me because he owned a hair salon he taught me how to do my own hair and makeup really so i got that um to prom so listen again and fellas i really really want y'all boys to pay attention but i'm gonna get to y'all real quick ladies let me talk to the ladies now the full video was out there, y'all. I'm, I'm going to find it for y'all, and I'll probably do a full reaction to the full video. 
Um, just because I, again, I have so many questions. I have so many questions in my head, man. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Oh, I got something out of it. Oh, I was able to do my own hair. He had, he owned his own hair in it. Listen to the crowd. It sounds pretty like, like it's kind of split. Some of them was cheering. Some of them was clapping. Some of them was like, yeah, yeah. And then she was like, oh, look at your face. She's like, yeah. Cause I'm pretty sure that if that would have been me, I'd have been giving her that side. I'm like, what the hell is like, why are we talking about this? Why, well, why are we having this conversation? In my opinion, I believe a lot of the women that was in there laughing, it was because they did the same thing when they was, when, when they was, I'm, I'm almost certain they did when they was in high school. Because this didn't just obviously just happen at my high school, because I told you I've seen it at my high school. I've been saying this for years. I've been saying this for years. I told y'all, one, one, one of my homegirls that, that I was in high school with, we was a, I think it was a junior. I think it was a sophomore junior in high school. She got pregnant by a guy who was 28, damn near 30 years old. He couldn't even come to the hospital because obviously, you know, he's a father and she, he was over age and she was like 15, 16 years old. Because I got there and I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, where the baby daddy at? Oh, well, he can't come. Why? Because he's 28, he's 29. And I'm young still. I'm confused. I'm like, what that has to do anything? Oh, well, he, if that, that, will, that will be illegal if he's a father. I'm like, what? This has this conversation has to be said, man, because, bro, listen, a lot of our young girls, you know, and I'm just going to put it out there. They're extremely gullible, impressionable. Uh, I would even say dumb in some cases. They'll believe anything that you tell them, especially you being the older guy, you having, quote unquote, money. Because, you know, what I'm saying a little hundred dollars to a 15 year old girl is a lot of money to the, to, to their young guys. So you have to keep a closer eye on, on, on the on the younger damn on, on, on the younger girls. Hell, I did when I was, man, listen, my, my, my little sister was, was, was underage. When she turned 18, I didn't give a damn. But when she was underage, there was a lot of things I did not allow her to do. Nah, bro, you can't be giving your number out to them. No, nope. Not if I got anything to do with it. So my sister turned 18, okay, go do, do what the hell you want to damn do. You grown now. Once she turned 21, it was a wrap. I don't even. <laughs> I used to be like, text me where you at. Text me where you going. Who you going to be with? I used to do all that stuff with my damn sister. Nah, she grown. You do what the hell you want to do now. I don't give a damn. Nah, hell no. That's, that's a wrap. But when she was in high school, it was a, nah. So I apologize to Nia Long, number one, because your mother, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to say it, but I'm trying to think of a, the, a proper way to say it because I don't want to be disrespectful to her mom, but your mother is misguided. Let me say that. Your mother is misguided. And it's unfortunate that all that stuff happened because, again, like I said, your mother's immediate response after a grown, after having a grown man approach her about her, about her child should have been completely different. It should have never been, no. oh, well, I mean, if this is what you want. Let, 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 me, let me just do it again without, without stopping it. Let me, let me, let me run it back because it's only like 50 seconds. I'm going to run the whole thing back without stopping it. Hold on, hold on one second. My boyfriend was 30 when I, when I was in high school. I know my mother was crazy, but you know what? He was... <laughs> I would never, ever let my... I mean that in a good way. Like, she was an artist. She was like... Well, if that's who you love, baby. And he was so good to me and kind and like. <laughs> right? And he, listen, he did it, appro he did it the right way. He went to her, he was from Oman. He went to her and he said, I love your daughter and I want to date your daughter. And he asked permission. Look at your face. You're like, that ain't <laughs> happening with my baby. <laughs> And, and, but you know what he taught me? Cause he owned a hair salon. He taught me how to do my own hair and makeup. Really? So I got that. Um, yeah, you got, you got that. All right. You got that. All right. Fellas, this is why it is imperative that you stay in your children's life, especially if you have daughters. Because I'm almost, I can almost guarantee you, 
I can almost guarantee you if a man was in her life, I don't know if it was, but you know, it, and if he was, it, it makes it even worse. But if uh, if a father figure, role model, whatever you want to call it, uh, male was uh, an older male was in her life, not trying to date her, but obviously trying to guide her, he wouldn't have let that slide. He wouldn't have let that slide. This happens more often than y'all think. I put the mother at fault. I put that grown ass man at fault. I do not put no fault on Neil Long. A lot of people are trying to like try to throw shade on her. I'm not too sure why she was the 15, 16 year old girl at the time. Why are y'all putting her at fault? She was under one that was underage at the time. But listen, I'm telling y'all boys, man, y'all better. I, I I'm, I'm done, man. I'm done. Anyway, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell symbol. So, I see time I make upload notification pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for her, cuz.